How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this guitar lesson you're gonna learn how to play What You Won't Do For Love as recorded by Bobby Caldwell on guitar. This is a funky song that has two main sections to it and we're gonna use some more of those R&B style chords. Our chords are gonna be like major sevenths and dominant sevenths and minor sevenths and playing those types of chord shapes especially on a Fender guitar like a Strat or a Tele and just keeping a clean tone really gets a great R&B sound. So I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step. When you're done with this video, you'll have everything you need to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I wanna hook you up with a gift at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that you can download that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching my videos, you're gonna get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play What You Won't Do For Love as recorded by Bobby Caldwell on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with this pickup that's on beat three and beat four. So we're gonna count one, two, and then we'll start playing with these two chords. Here's what it sounds like. One, two. Now, the song starts off with this B section, and you'll see this labeled in the tab as the B section. So we're gonna start off there. We've got an A flat six to an A flat 13. These are definitely more advanced chord shapes here. I'm playing on the top four strings, six, A, six, A. Then I'm going to an A flat 13 where I use my thumb. This is the fourth fret of the low E, and then skip the fifth string. Then we're gonna play four, five, six, starting on that fourth string. Now, if this is too hard, you can just play without the thumb like that. That would sound like this with the bass note, get a little bit fuller sound when you add the bass note in there. Then we go to D flat major seven. Now here we're gonna play four, six, five, six. Then three, five, three, five. This is C seven. And these chords last two beats each. So one, two, three, four. Then we'll move up to F minor seven. And that's gonna be eight, 10, eight, nine. Again, with that root there on the fifth string. One, two, then repeat. A flat six, A flat 13, D flat major seven. Now here, we're gonna go to a G flat 13, which is the same as the A flat 13, just down two frets. So that's gonna go two, two, three, four. Then we'll go to F minor seven, one E and two E. And, uh, and then B flat seven. So for the F minor seven, I'm playing my thumb on the low E string first fret, then grabbing these top four strings with my index finger. Really, I'm playing D, G, and B, those strings, but you can't you can go all the way if you want to get the high, high string as well. Usually four notes is a pretty solid sound. And then we'll move to this chord, B flat seven which is the same as our C7, just down two frets. So one, two, three, four, one E and a two E and a. And again, on top of this, you've got this line. So all together, one, two, Okay, that's our B section. Then we go into the main groove, or what I call the A section. And that's just a two bar repeating progression that sounds like this. So I'm playing a D flat major seven to a C seven. That's one, two, three, four, two beats on each chord. 
then go up to F minor 7, 1, 2, then move to B flat 7. That's going to be 6, 8, 6, 7, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's the chords for the A section. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we repeat. Now I did add a little bit of rhythm to this. I was playing something like... line there a little walk up so here what I did was play the bass note just the fifth string then do a staccato strum on the chord just really short I hit the chord and then I release the pressure then I go chick a chick you know so boom chick a chick so basically that first downbeat of beat two one e and a two then e and uh so it's down on the staccato strum then up down up with the strum hand on muted strum so one two e and uh and then we repeat next chord three four e and uh then up to f minor one two e and uh so so far one two e and a uh, three four e and a uh, one two e and a uh. now you could do the same thing here three four e and a uh. Or you could do this bass line where you go one e and a, or a three e and a four e and a. So that's six on the low E string. You hit that bass note three e and a four e and a, and then you go right to the third fret of the fifth string, and that walks you in to reset this chord progression. So one, a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. And a four E and a. Now, when we go back to the B section later in the song, you're gonna hear. You're gonna hear that again. So when we transition from the A section to the B section, that will replace the B flat seven when we are changing parts from again from the A section to the B section. So that would sound like this. Congrats on making it through this video lesson. Now I am going to post a part two that talks more about the lead playing on top of this. And you could hear like at the beginning of this video, I played the horn part over those changes. So that's going to be a part two to this video, but make sure you got the first part down, just all the chords for the song. And then we're going to talk about soloing. So stay tuned for that video. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is going to give you some exclusive PDF downloads and even guitar profiles that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, each lesson is going to be so much easier and more efficient when you can follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there that can help you level up your guitar playing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video real soon.